Hello, my wonderful Virgo collective. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North No, It's Earth sign day, you know. I hope you've been paying attention, elevating, seeing yourself for who you are, because that's the most important. So that way you can change your patterns, ways, and behaviors to help you more on this journey that you're on. So my Virgo, let's see what we got for you. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North Node. For my Virgos, I'm sensing a lot of changes. Lots of changes. And I want you to be aware of it. What we got for my Virgos? The all gifted. All gifted. Transforming. Knowing who you are. Standing in your power. Prince of Swords. Someone spying. But you are growing. You are evolving. This is a beautiful card. The All Gifted. Princess of Pinnacles. Undecided Energy. We're going to leave her like that. What else we got from our wonderful Virgos? Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, and the Devil card. The Devil card. Bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Being confused. Up in your head. So I have the all gifted. That's air. Fire and water. That's all the signs in one. This person knows who they are. Stands in their power. Constantly transforming. Knows a lot of secrets. A lot of things. Very wise. And they're on divine timing. They're on divine timing. Time is not a, not a thing for this person. Time is not a thing for this person. That's behind them. That's behind them. Someone is spying on this or gifted page of swords, prince of swords, spying. Then I have the princess of pinnacles, birthing of our ideas, something that could be lucrative. Something that can be lucrative, or this can be a child, someone pregnant, someone's pregnant, a young person, very young. Then I have the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Truth, Prince of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn energy too, and Two of Swords. Lots of sword energy. Lots of sword energy. Mm. The truth is coming out about these toxic patterns and ways and behaviors. And it's causing a lot of confusion. Tell me about the all gifted. All gifted. Force twin flame. Force twin flame. She already knows. Tell me about this false twin flame. That's a lot. Not authentic. Not authentic. A man that's money hungry. A sister that's negative and toxic. Someone needed strength. She already knew about all these things. This all gifted person knows. She's very wise. She's very gifted. Leo energy, strength, wish fulfillment, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
and had good intentions. So this all gifted person was the one who, who was someone's wish fulfillment and had good intentions. But there was a lot of false people in the, around. A false twin flame, not authentic, a man that was money hungry, a sister that was negative and toxic. This person knew it all. And she didn't let it bother her. She's very strong with the Leo energy. Strength card. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Spying. It's a queen of wands that's promiscuous and toxic and money hungry. So she can have a, a brother spying on this person. She can have a brother spying on someone. Could be on this all gifted person. Tell me about this promiscuous queen of wands that's money hungry and toxic. Hmm. Divine masculine. So this is part of divine masculine's peoples. Trying to finesse you. Trying to finesse you. That came out. Of course it did. Tell me about this divine masculine. Instagram stalking. And have toxic patterns, ways, and behaviors. Tell me about trying to finesse you. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Maybe the, this King of Swords. Maybe they're pretending to be honest. And I said a Queen of Swords, so she's, a, she's, she's in his energy. So they can be a, 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 a divorced couple. Tell me about this King of Swords. Karmic baby mama. Like I said, she's in his energy. I feel it. So this King of Swords has a karmic baby mama. Tell me about this princess of pinnacle. Undecided energy. Can have Pisces in their chart. Can be gifted. Can be a seer. Very intuitive. Tell me about this Pisces energy. Ooh. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this Pisces energy. Put something to a rest with the Four of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So this person put something to an end. They were birthing on an idea. They were undecided about it. This high priestess. Put something to her name with the four swords. Tell me about the four swords. What was what did they put to her name? Someone who had low libido, fear of intimacy. Um creative endeavors was not so healthy. Over emotional and fixated on sex, this person. So they put it to an end. Tell me more about this four swords. Whatever the situation was, the ancestors took care of it. It says your ancestors got your back. Took the wheel, handled it. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Somebody was trying to mess up somebody's creative endeavor that, that's going to lead to financial wealth. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. About a negative family member that was a backstabber, that was toxic and liars. That was the truth. Whoever these, this person is had a negative family members. They were toxic. They were liars. And backstabbers. Tell me about this toxic family. Karmic family members. Clarifying toxic negative family members. Ace of swords. Truth and clarity. Tell me about this 
And things needed to be balanced with the Sagittarius energy, temperance. It needed to be balanced. Tell me about this devil card, Capricorn energy. Lying on you. So this Capricorn, this devil energy, they were lying on you. Tell me about lying on you. Communication problems. Communication problems. Another problem. This this King of Swords had with his karmic baby mama. Tell me more about lying on you. Yes. They clarified that with yes. So they had communication problems. This um people who are lying on you. And they also had communication problems with their toxic baby mama. This King of Swords. Tell me more about this devil energy. Mm. Alcoholic. So they were alcohol abusers. They were alcohol abusers. What else, spirit? Tell me more about these devil energy. Addicted to whores, whores, tramps, promiscuous women, or men. Addicted to hoes and whores and tramps. Tell me more about this toxic devil energy. Jealous female. Hater who wanted to be you. So, not only was she addicted to hoes, whores, and tramps, she was one herself. And she's an alcoholic. Tell me more about this jealous female hater who wanted to be you. Sun card in reverse, Libra. Didn't want to see the lies. Didn't want to see the lies that they were telling, the confusion that they were causing. Didn't want to see it. All the confusion that they were causing this masculine or these people. They didn't want to see the truth. Tell me about the sun card in reverse. They didn't want to see that they needed healing with this Aquarius card. They didn't want to see that they needed healing. Tell me about the two of swords. Whoever this two of swords is, they say you stay on their mind. They got a lot going on. And they say you stay on their mind. I feel like it's this king of swords. I feel like it's the king of swords. They say you stay on their mind. Tell me about you stay on my mind. But it's Virgo energy. They feel like you're lucky. They feel like that you're lucky and that you got money coming, inheritance, or they're lucky and got money coming to them on inheritance. But they're not going to get it with these people in their energy because they're going to lose it as fast as they get it. Tell me about this lotto, lotto money, inheritance, raise. The universe is not going to gift you with that because they know what you're going to do with it. No. No, you're not going to get it. Tell me more. Boundaries, lack protection, protect yourself. Somebody's boundaries is weak against this person who does not want to see the truth. Somebody feels bad for this person who calls themselves all this, these problems. So they're not protecting themselves. Tell me more, spirit. Somebody wanted just sex, no strings attached. They just wanted sex, no strings attached. And they wanted someone to always choose them, no matter what. High Priestess, you already know. They wanted this person to choose them over this Pisces energy. Over this High Priestess who was a passionate lover. So this person who just, this karmic baby mother, who just wanted sex, who someone lacks boundaries with, wanted this person to just choose them 
over this high priestess, this Pisces energy, who was a passionate lover, who wound up putting things to a rest anyway, to an end. They was not trying to be someone second. They were not trying to share somebody. That's not what they came into the situation for. They thought that it was going to be them and this person and no one else. And that was a lie. Now someone is scared to call you. So let's see what else we got. You know? And thank God that somebody chose themselves instead. Because who knows how the situation would have turned out. Thank goodness somebody put a rest to it. An uh, ending to it. What else, spirit? The silver bowl. That's the love card, but it came out in reverse. It came out in re reverse. This karmic baby mother did not have love for this person. They did not have love for this person at all. And they tried to say this other person didn't either. And that was a lie. She was saying, she was speaking on her own energy. How she felt for this person and not no one else's. You can't speak for someone else. You can only speak for yourself. Unific unification. In order for this person to get his luck back, his mojo back, he has to be one within himself. He needs to learn how to balance his masculine and feminine energy. And not let anyone try to trespass upon your life just because you have children with them. Just because you have some type of guilt or shame. People need to understand that there's nothing you can do for another that they can't do for themselves. If this baby mother or this promiscuous person wanted to change, they would have did it on their own. There's nothing you can do to stop them. It's not your life. Let's see what else. Do not be a martyr to someone else's life. You will always pay. But can you carry the debt that you're going to pay is the question. Spying on someone else for what? What else, spirit? On someone who didn't even know that they was part of a game. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance bottom of the deck it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all what people don't understand virgos is they are playing this game in their head that no one else is aware of they're the only ones who know the rules to the game but they pretending like everyone else is playing the same game and that wasn't true Someone did, not, someone did not know that they were being played with. And as soon as they found out, they left the situation. And now somebody that's crazy and deranged in their head, who started playing this mental game on their own, who, who, who's the only one who had the rules to it, who knew what was going on, is spying on this all-gifted person that had nothing to do with it. And that's why karma is coming. And they're probably paying for it right now. Thank you, Virgos. Like and subscribe to my channel and enjoy. Thank you.